Hey guys, it's Lucas. And Jacob. Today I'm gonna let mukbangers choose everything I put into my body. Yeah, today we're going to do that. Thank God for cameo because that's why I'm, I'm asking these mukbangers uh, eat for my mukbang fantasy. I was just trying to say exactly what Lucas said and try to have it kind of match up, but that was really difficult. For a mere $150, you can have Nikado Avocado talk to you. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. And yeah, you might think that's a lot of money. I think it's too cheap. Yeah, I didn't pay for this cameo or, or any of the cameos. Excuse me, peasant. Oh, I love being greeted like that. <laughs> me too. Am I allowed to be funny? Am I allowed to joke? Or are you going to take offense to everything? Peasant. I take offense to everything. I'm going to find a specific part of this cameo that is kind of weird and i'm gonna cancel you for it <laughs> um i've made homemade animal style fries i do like mcdonald's french fries same z's with me the internet likes cheese the internet likes spicy food the internet loves seafood that's a, that's a healthier um option nicado avocado gave me a lot of inspiration so i went to target to make the inspiration come to life next this is me at the mcdonald's drive through can i have two large fries pulling up to the window and grabbing it like usual <laughs> that's enough onion right yeah, that's the perfect amount of onion. By the way, thanks for cutting it, f Lucas. It means a lot to me. In and Out has animal fries, and they always put caramelized onions on top of it, so that's why we're cutting onion. I just realized that we might not all be on the same page, so I had to explain, like, why we're even cutting an onion. Now it's time to make the animal sauce. Ugh. Add some mayo into a bowl. Some ketchup. As you heard, add some ketchup. Add a little bit of relish. Relish is technically cucumbers. Yay, so you get some vitamins and minerals from the ground. Dash of mustard. Yeah, add mustard too. Little, little sprinkling, sprinkling of, of white, white vinegar. vinegar. And then you mix it up. Lucas made the sauce because he really wanted to. He actually got very mad when I said that I would make the sauce. So um, just to keep everything calm, I had him make the sauce so a fight didn't erupt. Oh, also, I think this is just Thousand Island dressing. If you look up a Thousand Island dressing recipe, it's the same stuff, I'm pretty sure. Mm. I guess you're supposed to put it in the fridge to like let it harden or something. I don't know. Cute. I just don't understand why putting something in the fridge is cute. Once again, I wanted to cook the shrimp, but Lucas got very irritated when I let him know that I wanted to cook it. So to avoid a fight, I let him cook the shrimp. Honestly, having shrimp in animal fries doesn't even sound good, but we have to listen to the king, Nakado Avocado. The internet loves seafood. He said the internet loves seafood, so uh, I guess we have to do that. Mm. Honestly, it's probably good that Luke has assembled it because he's doing it so delicately. It looks like he really does care. Aww. The recipe called for four slices of American cheese, but we might need more. <laughs> we will definitely need more. <laughs> put, put it in the, the oven till it simply melts. melts. Oh my gosh, watching this footage is making me want to wiggle my toes continuously. You probably can't tell what's happening because it's so sped up, but we added in all the toppings. We we also got a little bit of max sauce from McDonald's, so we added that on too. <laughs> this will cure your erectile dysfunction. <laughs> so sitting next to me My hands are hair all over them <laughs> It's time for the first mukbang fantasy meal of the day It isn't big enough I think it needs to be triple the size. By the way, this is Colin. When we were filming this, I was thinking about changing my name to Colin. But two days later, I decided that I don't want to change my name to Colin. Wait. Oh my god. Ring the alarm. Don't eat anything. What? I didn't make it spicy. Oh. You need that. The internet likes spicy food. We doused it in sriracha and the green cholula. Whatever Nicado says goes. Cheers. I love it.
You can't even taste the shrimp. It could literally be breaded chicken and I wouldn't know. We just went to town on these animal fries. Ended up getting too messy, so we had to be a little bit fancy and get some forks. I could like finish half of this and like be good with it. It's almost better than In-N-Out because of the McDonald's fries. Because McDonald's fries are better than In-N-Out, you know? Yeah, I think this has every food group. Carbs, fats, and protein. I don't like seeing stuff like that. I actually think you put on too much sauce, mm. in my opinion. It kind of, at a certain point, it grosses me out. Yeah. When you, like, think of mayonnaise, you know how it just is gross? Okay, it depends on the mood you're in. Is there any more shrimp left? We still got some left, don't you worry. <laughs> yes. Munchy, munchy, munch. I don't know if I was eating too many popcorn shrimps, but I'm getting to the point where I'm grossed out by this. Thing. Looking at this gets me, um... Not going. It turns me off. Mm. Chew, chew, chew. Dinner time has rolled around. It's been about five hours since we've consumed the McDonald's animal fries, and we are hungry. More hungry than usual, actually. It turns out if you eat all this processed stuff, it makes you even more hungry. Amberlyn Reed herself is picking what type of mukbang dinner we're gonna have. And then Lucas addresses the drama. Amberlyn Reed technically isn't a mukbanger. She is a vlogger, but she does dabble in mukbangs. And also there wasn't that many mukbangers on Cameo. The drama is ended. Hello, mukbang lover. Okay, so... <laughs> That's us. Mukbang lover. Hey, it's me. I feel like everywhere I've lived, they have a red lobster. <sighs> we we have a red lobster, so this is going to work out. Get like where you get to choose your own little like shrimp moment. It's like a choose three. So you get to choose like three shrimps and you get to choose two sides. Walt's shrimp, I like their coconut shrimp and their flounder. For my sides, I always get both of them mashed potatoes. So that could be fun. Sounds like a great suggestion. Thank you, Amberlynn. So thankful for Amberlynn. If it wasn't for you, Amberlynn, we wouldn't be a red lobster. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. Why aren't they red though? So I didn't know this, but I guess <laughs> lobsters turn red when you cook them. Okay, we just ordered our food. Just to give you guys the rundown, I wanted to order Amberlynn Reed's mail, but Lucas said, no, I want to be like Amberlynn Reed. And then I said, no, I want to be like Amber and Reed. But Lucas won. He is going to be eating like Amber and Reed. Unfortunately, not me. I feel so bad for Jacob. He has to wait for me to eat before he can eat because the mukbanger needs to eat on camera. <laughs> yeah, I would feel severely bad for Jacob too. In fact, I would pay for his therapy because I feel so bad for him. This is a serve. <laughs> it's the perfect food to lubricate your intestines. Whenever I drink my water, it tastes a little bit like snot. Please don't ruin the vibe. Gimme, give gimme give more, gimme more of Amberlynn's mail. G -g give me more, gimme more. And oh my gosh, ew, what did Jacob get? This is so gross. Ew, ew, I want Amberlynn's mail back. Oh, yes, I love this. Uh, give me more, give me more. I accused Lucas of getting too much plastic surgery. Don't ever. Accuse me of that. Pretty sure this is the Walt shrimp. Here's the Walt sauce. Even though it's pretty obvious that Lucas is eating the food, I'm just gonna put my face over it and act like I'm eating it. Oh my gosh, Amberlynn Reed. That was delicious. See, I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. That's why Amberlynn wanted. It's not about me. Hmm. Okay, it's in my palate right now. So, okay, chewing a little bit. It's way too coconut tea. Isn't flounder the name of Ariel's best friend? And the little mermaid? Yup, it is, Lucas. And now you're eating him. This is terrible to watch. Mm. Yeah. That, that is, is beauty. beauty. Now we're digging into the mashed potatoes. And, okay, just so you guys know, I actually did eat the mashed potatoes. My meal came with mashed potatoes, too. It was a mix of fake and real, which is the perfect combination. Congratulations. They won the competition, whatever the competition is. I don't feel like Amberlynn Reed because I'm not eating her mail, but I feel like her little sister. She's in college for like science, I think. 
but it's tough for her because she's in the shadow of one of the biggest mukbangers. A lot of her friends always mention like, why aren't you in the mukbangs? Like, what happened? And she just has to say like, I don't want to be in them. Because she never wanted to be a mukbanger, but she kind of gets like, has to be, because like, she's related to one of the biggest ones. Wow, I have to say I feel really bad for Amberlynn Reed's little sister now. You aren't in a shadow in my eyes, and good luck in college. <laughs> Lucas let me try some of the sauce that came with his mail. I think I was trying the Walt sauce and I was just kind of weirded out because it was sweet. For me personally, I don't know if I'd want to dip seafood into sweet sauce, but you know, I'm just one person. <laughs> we can be different. It's okay. This is fun. I'm having fun, yeah. Same. Oh. Out of all this, the Walt shrimp. That would be the Lucas bathe. I gave Lucas the privilege to try some of my mail. Tastes like a firework. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually thought it tasted like a firework too? I thought it tasted like when you're in a bomb shelter and then you whack out. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what that's like? Oh, by the way, I got salmon, rice, and potatoes. Want to try anything? I actually love coconut, so I want to try this. Mm, maybe go like it. I don't like it. Mm. As you can tell, this angle is only showing Lucas. I told Lucas multiple times, let's show both of us because it's my video. But he said, no, people want to see me mostly. Hey, I'm getting full. Honestly, it was so good. If you eat a lot of fried food after a while, you know? Yeah, I get you, Lucas. After you eat a lot of fried food, you like feel a little bit over it. I understand. Okay, let's leave in that pain. We did pay. By we, I mean Lucas paid. Thank you, Amberlynn, for letting us have this joyous occasion. Even though I didn't really try your meal, it was still fun to just look at someone try it. <coughs> Anybody else craving some dessert? <laughs> Honestly, no, but it's a mukbang day, so let's do it. This next cameo is from Nikado Avocado once again. As I said before, there wasn't that many mukbangers on cameo, and also Nikado Avocado really gives it in his cameos, so... Uh, first and foremost, we need some Cheesecake Factory up in there. I love Cheesecake Factory. I love cheesecake. <laughs> I love cheesecake, too. Actually, see if they still have it. I'm literally going to open the computer. We're gonna find out if Olive Garden still has that dessert. Googling stuff for us. <sighs> we are living luxury with Nakato Avocado today. Oh my freaking god. Oh my gosh, I love food. I love eating. Ah! This is a six minute long cameo. He's giving us our money's worth. Well, uh, Lucas's money's worth because he paid for this. <sighs> love, love their um, fudge one. Their confetti one, it's like birthday cake one. Oh, so sugary. I love their red velvet cheesecake. The tiramisu. <gasps> Five Guys bacon shake, it's a milkshake. God, it's so freaking good. Oh, and I love the peanut butter milkshake too from Five Guys. <laughs> Lucas was very innovative, <clears throat> innovative and got the bacon milkshake and peanut butter, like mixed peanut butter bacon milkshake. Uh -huh. You know when you eat a bunch of salty food, you need, and I mean need, I don't mean want, to eat this much dessert, you know? Yeah, I was almost about to strangle someone. First of all, I just gotta take a quick sip of the bacon peanut butter milkshake. <sighs> yeah, I've actually had um, a bacon one before, never bacon and peanut butter, but something about it just works. <sighs> I haven't had bacon yet. Oh, you, got, you gotta get a piece of bacon. It is good, but it isn't needed though. I didn't even know cheesecake had a confetti birthday cheesecake. Were you aware of this? No, I actually never get that cheesecake. Mmm, what is the flavor? It just tastes like sour cream. It doesn't taste like cheesecake. It just tastes like really moist cake. Yeah, a few. Did you say a few to Nakato? Oh no, to oh. cheesecake. No, I didn't mean that to you, Nakato. I don't know what this says about me, but I like plain cheesecake the best. Yeah, so I don't really like when like getting all these weird ones, you know? Not that red velvet's weird. I'm not saying that in any shape or form. I think mm. I've had this one before. See, you can taste cheesecake in that. The other one, you couldn't taste cheesecake. I taste the cheese. Mmm. Okay. Okay, this is Linda's fudge cake. Who's Linda? I hope it's the fudge queen. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being Linda though, and knowing that every day when you're just living your little, your little Linda life, you know there's people eating your Linda fudge. Like, to be honest, it curses me out. I, I did do the same thing, it does. Why does it though? Drop some. I mean, that is like chocolate. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost too much, you know? 
Linda's dry. If your fudge looks like this, that means you're constipated. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> I'm gonna find out who Linda is and block her on Twitter. Is she probably dead is the sad thing. Oh. If you look at that fudge cake, it honestly looks good. Sometimes you say mean stuff in the moment, but you look back and you regret it. I'm sorry, Linda, for everything we both said. Termasu, anyone? From Olive Garden? Ooh, I don't know if I like this one that much. This one isn't that good. You know what I'm forgetting? I'm treating this like a review. This supposed to be a mukbang. Legitimately, I was mad about this the whole entire time while editing this. The only thing that was it is the Five Guys milkshake. I like the red velvet cheesecake too. I don't know how I expected to feel after this day, but I kind of just feel like I want to lay down. I don't feel satisfied. I feel like it's a never ending battle. So yeah.